Hey, EJ here at the Back Porch Antiques with Old School. And tonight we're going to talk about uranium glass, the glass that glows. And if you'll stick with me, I'll show you how to make some money with this uranium glass. So what is uranium glass? Uranium glass is a glass, obviously, that has uranium in it. And uh, it was designed that way as a color additive. Uh, it's first traced back to the early 19th century, uh, maybe even a tad bit before that uh, in England. Uh, but it has since become a popular art, especially pre-World War II the United States of America. It's where there was a silica-based uranium byproduct that was ground up and put in molten glass before it was blown or shaped and however that it could uh, be uh, displayed, and that uh, characteristic turned the glass green. And uh, that's what you see here, is a bunch of green glass. Now, a little bit of a side note about that, uh, if you know anything about uranium glass at all, it is the glowing glass. And if you put it under a black light, it will glow. I have a black light, and this is how I test particular pieces when they come in my store to see if they're actually just green glass or if they're uranium glass. I'll turn the black light on and let it shine over the glass. I don't know if you can see that in the camera or not, uh, but it shows up pretty well. Certain pieces glow really well. And these particular pieces are all uranium glass pieces. Now, there are some color varieties. Most everything that you will see in uranium glass is green um, because it was designed that way, but you also have some opaque top colors uh, such as this particular white cat. It's a Fenton cat, uh, Fenton Glass Company. It is marked Fenton and it will glow too. Not nearly as much, but maybe you can see a little bit there, but it has enough uranium in it to uh, glow green. Now, why would you want your glass to glow? Uh, a lot of people are actually putting displays of this together in china cabinets and putting black lights in with those. Uh, so when they turn their lights off in their house or their display room among all of their collections, these pieces will glow. Now, obviously some pieces are gonna be worth more than others. Uh, some are extremely outrageous in pricing. Uh, some of your more popular pieces are that those which are made by the Fenton Glass Company. Now this is a little figurine from Fenton. It is a cat piece uh, from uh, Fenton. And this is an older piece of Fenton, a uh, hobnail pitcher. Now these are available at the Back Porch Antiques, but I'll go ahead and tell you that our uranium glass doesn't last long. Uh, we normally get it in and sell it pretty quickly because there are a lot of collectors around. That's why we wanted to highlight a video about it here tonight. Um, it's very interesting that people like these sorts of things. Uh, Fenton Glass Company specifically uh, ranges from their origin date in 1907, and they actually went out of business, I believe, in 2007. And uh, 1907 to 2007. And um, they range from, this is a more modern piece, um, this is an older piece, and they're very collectible. You have depression glass pieces like this particular saucer. And uh, just about any particular type of glassware uh, was made uh, using the uranium glass method. And this could be liked, liked unto that mid-century type mode of um, Pyrex or Corningware or things like that. Same thing as this. Uh, refrigerator dishes. This one even says butter on it. Would normally come with a base. Um, all of these that are uranium glass pieces, here's an etched glass piece. Um, this is a uh, flowered piece of Depression era glass. And all of them, of course, glow, um, but all of them are desired from different collectors and for different reasons. Some people collect just uranium glass or some people collect uh, specific items. Uh, so let's talk about value. The thing that you're waiting on, how can you make some money? How can uh, you find some things that might, you might be able to capitalize some profit on? Obviously, the more rare a piece is, normally the more valuable it is. The pieces that you see here are pretty valuable. This particular piece 
is priced in our store at $59. It's, uh, again, Fenton Hobnail Uranium Pitcher. Uh, I think it's underpriced at that, actually. I think in the right place, that's a $100 piece. Um, these particular glasses here, these are vases, long stem vases, would have been uh, 1920s Art Deco era, uh, and they would easily go for $35, $40 a piece. Uh, Mid-century butter dish, $40, $50. Bucks. Now let's talk big money. Well, what do you think, EJ, would be big money? Well, there are things called Aladdin lamps. Now, you probably know what Aladdin lamps are. Uh, maybe you don't. We might do a video on that sometime. Uh, so stay tuned uh, for further videos. Side note, like the video, subscribe, and uh, ring that bell so that we can get you notifications of when we add more videos. But anyway, Aladdin lamps, uh, they're, they're about this tall, and they got a real long glass chimney on them, and some of them, very few of them, had shades that were made out of uranium glass. Some of those shades alone can be in the $1,000 range, the lamps themselves reaching up to $1,500. Uh, you also have pieces of depression glass that is art glass, like Art Nouveau uh, is, a, is a name that you might be familiar with if you uh, know a lot about glass. Uh, but you might see a depiction of a clown in glass, or you might see a depiction of a poodle. Um, and if by chance those were made in the depression glass, uh, depression era uranium glass uh, type material, then they would fetch extreme prices of upward of $500. And it is very likely that you could find some of these pieces uh, in, say, a yard sale or an auction or something like that. Uh, always be sure to take your little handy-dandy light if you're looking for these things. Mine just, no, oh, there it is. Thought it died on me. But you need your light because there's a difference between uranium glass and just green glass. It'll look a lot the same. If you've got a good trained eye, you can, you can see the difference. Um, but a quick reflection on your... Uh, black light will show that it glows, and that's where the money's at. There's more value in things that glow heavier and um, maybe less value in some of the things that glow lesser. Now, a question that I normally have on this is, okay, it's uranium glass. Does that mean it's radioactive? Uh, is it dangerous? Well, technically, it is radioactive because it does have uranium in it. However, uh, your strongest pieces will barely register at all on a Geiger counter as kind of like a background noise type setting. So there's not enough uranium in it to actually harm you, uh, even if you had a lot of it. Um, but um, it is a very cool collectible. Uh, there are a lot of people out there who collect it. This might be something that you might be interested in collecting. And if you'd like to find some of your first pieces, uh, come see me. I'll help you find what you need. If we don't have it in the store, I can help you find it uh, in other directions. Uh, there's lots more to talk about, about specific makers and, and specific things concerning uranium glass, but I won't bore you to death. But if you have any questions, please feel free to send me a message and um, or swing by the store and we'll talk more about it. Uh, again, there is a massive collectorship of uh, uranium glass and uh, those collectors. So um, I guess that's all that I've got here tonight. And uh, I hope that you've figured out now how to make a little bit of money off of that which glows. Have a good night.